Welcome back guys to Pro Team Season 1. This is Episode 9 and we've just completed Stage 2 um, of this tour and we are moving on to Stage 3. Quick recap, our sprinter Halverson has won both stages. So carrying 14 seconds on the field. Uh, we are currently holding all the jerseys, polka dot for Pasha. Green jersey I think is probably won already for our sprinter and his white jersey is wet at the moment from winning those two stages. Uh, pretty much giving up on him for the rest of the tour now other than a couple of early sprints and breakaways and we're going to focus on the guys because we're going to be moving to mountain stages. It'll be a very demanding day for everyone. Several mountain passes and a summit finish await you. This is a key stage for the general classification. We lead the general classification, but I don't see how we can hang on to top spot. The stage seems too difficult. If we want to exist today, it's best to go for a long distance breakaway. We can't compete with the big boys in the mountains. Good luck, guys. Well. Not much high hopes from the coach on that one. Look at that stage, look at those last two climbs. So we're going to try and get an early breakaway. Hopefully with Halverson, but I don't know if they'll let him go as he's the yellow jersey. But we want that sprint just to consolidate the the green jersey. Um, and the plan is we're going to do launch an attack on that high category climb. Try and come down it with a bit of a gap, get our feeds back and then attack the last one again, but we'll have to see how it goes. Today the climbers have the right to express themselves. Everything will be condensed into less than 75 kilometers with the Tourmalé and Otakam passes. Okay, so the good news to start, we know three of our guys are at the front because they're holding their jerseys. We'll just check where everyone else is. Come now, they want us to go in the breakaway, so we may control him. Tell Halvers actually we may leave Halverson because he's the yellow jersey. Just try and pick up some scraps on the sprint. Right TV, we're just gonna go with Kamna. And see what happens to start with. There's an attack on the left. Oh no. Oops, broke a bit sharply. The mountains don't scare him. He's already trying to escape. Here we go. See if they let this first attack of the day go. That's good enough, lads. There's no way we can lose the green jersey today. It's good. Peloton's not letting this go, it's only 10 seconds. Watch out, 
two fourth category climbs will give the riders a bit of work out. Fighters will surely take advantage and try to escape. guys try and take a point over this climb peloton slowly quickly coming back actually so i don't know if we're going to get this point can't widen the gap. You are two kilometers from the summit. Watch your opponents. Here we're going to do a little attack here. A glitch on the screen there. Just hold a good pace up this steeper section. Make sure of this point. The leader's jersey changes shoulders, but it stays with the team. Should be good enough. The counter-attacking group can't be allowed to merge. Otherwise, there'll be too many of you and the peloton will continue to ride hard. Just have a little look what sort of decline we got after this. Not too bad. Let that group catch up to us again before the next climb. Well done! You took the last climb. It prevents our competitors from stealing too many points. I managed to get 40 seconds on the following group, sir. Steady pace, nothing too spectacular. Probably let that group catch us back up. Try and take the point over this next climb as well. And then prepare for the sprint. So I think the peloton will be back on us by then. It doesn't seem to be a good day for him. He's being distanced. to do all the work. Holding the gap to the peloton. Only 
gonna be going with the best uh, placed in the overall standings amongst those at the head of the race. With one rider in this breakaway because we want to try and save most of the team for that huge climb that's coming up later in the stage. Just a minute now. So potentially, a little attack on this climb, and they could be about a minute and a half behind by the time we get over it. It's looking good. You've got more than a minute's lead on the peloton. Next difficulty is listed as a category four. Okay, we're gonna have a little attack now. If you're holding that decent pace, they've burnt out a little bit. You're two kilometers from the summit. Go on, another push! Ten seconds five. Looks like this has worked again. secondary steep section just here I thought we might get them on as well you should perhaps be waiting for the group behind it will be easier if there are several of you wow just look at that gap to the pilot on two and a half minutes already So this downhill don't think is very long. He's a solid rider in the mountains and on the flanks. Okay, we'll do a Perfect slow pace now, leader. try and let those guys come back to us. Try and build our blue energy back up. Another short line coming up, but there's no points to go over it. His best chance of victory is to try a break away from far out. Okay, let me just fast forward a little bit now to the sprint. Just keep an eye on the pace that Kamala's doing. She's nice and slow. So hopefully just stays at Wellens, gets his energy back. Peloton closing in quite quickly. going on. If this was a video game, I'd advance the clock to the last difficulty. When going downhill, the aerodynamic position is useful to increase speed without expending energy. Come to use a lot more energy than we wanted, but guaranteed first or second over this sprint. You are one minute ahead of the yellow jersey. Or well, maybe even fair, actually. Reduce speed a bit, otherwise we'll hit the wall, wall. Oh, Wellens has dropped right off. Looks like Bill Bow wants this sprint. The Peloton is riding hard. Stay well placed. downhill there. Person only a minute back now.
whether on mountain stages or on hills, is to be taken seriously as it climbs well. Sprint will be fought out in bike. Come there. Don't care whether he gets first or second. Looking for Halfson here to try and get third place. Well positioned in the peloton, yeah, so we'll just move him up. Will no doubt and try we get to ready pick up some with points these four guys. Before getting together to create the Brupetta. The gap with the yellow jerseys melting away. The SKPs will have difficulties going all the way to the finish. Himself, I first riders have reached the intermediate place. sprint. The tempo is increasing at the head of the race. The breakaway riders will try and manage the time gap. seconds between the breakaway and the yellow jersey. Here's the winner of the intermediate sprint. Excellent stuff. Uh, I think we're going to look with Pasha to start with as he's ahead in the mountain rankings. Just wary about Kamla's energy so we're going to turn to take his blue. straight away, which is not good. So no breakaway at all anymore. The Tuamale will be climbed on its eastern side. The climb run. by Saint Mary de Compan is a little over 17 kilometers. The beginning is quite easy, but after four kilometers, the slope regularly exceeds That's 10%. Staying with us. Oh no, we've broken that. They don't look too interested in following this. I'm just going to make sure, try and get McNulty, I think, to follow any other attacks. Still a rider from the team. <laughs> the pace 
a little bit. A minute already. Another acceleration at the head of the peloton. Wow, look at that. 19 kilometers this climb. Just ease up the touch. Again. The first riders are beginning the ascent of the Tourmalet. If in the first five kilometers after Saint Marie de Campan the percentages are fairly reasonable, the rest of the ascent is far more demanding because the slope hardly drops below 8%. A relentless climb. Well, McNulty following that attack, not done very good for him. Hopefully, he can uh, recoup that. Riding hard behind. This isn't the moment to relax. Two lines have to go early here. You didn't make any friends today. Your attitude will encourage your opponents to attack. Yeah, he's not really interested here, so we may try and force it ourselves. for a little bit. Got these other two joining us, one of our teammates. It is not always a good idea to be too many in a breakaway, as the others will not necessarily want to cooperate with us. Peloton coming back at us quite quickly now. Minolta's not looking too good. Just it gets a little bit steeper. Probably towards the end of that little orange bit. There's a lot of blue energy here, so we may go pretty soon. Still a long way to go on this climb now. No, they've slowed right down, so let's go. to the front and now onto the steep slopes of the Tourmalet. Only six seconds, seven seconds. Tell them 
do not work with opponents should be okay. Make Rosa do all of the work. Pelican's coming back quite quickly here. Let's do another little, little burst. Can get that back over a minute. This one now. Make sure you manage your energy expenditure to avoid hitting the wall in the final kilometers. But here, although he's not one of our best climbers. A gap with the yellow jersey is melting away. The SKPs will have difficulties going all the way to the finish. Maybe a bit earlier, maybe blowing this, but we will see. Pressure's pushing on a bit harder than I'd like him to. The breakaway is increasing its lead over the yellow jersey, but there's no worry as it contains no big guns for the overall standings. There's a new youngster at the top of the under-25 standings, and it's still... from the team. Okay, Pasha's blown up. Okay, I'll consume a feed. He's out of this one. Not sure how long's left of this climb is the problem. Puncher and good climber. He's a young rider to watch out for, despite his lack of true pace. The front of the race is approaching the La Mongie Ski Resort. There will soon be less than five kilometers from the summit. Five kilometers, should have enough blue energy for this, and then we recoup it all. He's a teammate without ambition for the overall standings. Let's do a little push again here, just try and build that gap up a bit, because the blue edge is not too bad at the moment. for this climb as well. Keep 
Showing up blue energy now. points for the first rider over the top of the Tourmalé. Check the stage. It's a big descent. We get all of our energy back there and our gels for the feed station. A little bit of flats, the danger area, and then that climb to the end again. Oh, the rest of the guys not looking very good at all. the red has start depleting to replace it and we still got that red feed as well so we won't blow Apart up until from a few the red feed goes as well negotiated at the start the descent of the tourmalé presents no major risks Still looking okay. Use the rest of this red energy, get over the summit, and then we get it all back on the decline. Stuff. So we're just going to concentrate on McNulty if we can now. Just try and pick up a few mountain points here, although he's really suffering. Here's the positions over the last climb. We've got enough in the tank to do a little push here. Breakaway threatens the overall standings. He's decided to get his guys to put their foot down. Risk it, we risk a blow up, just get a few points. Here we go. His team is riding for the overall standings. Nothing, never mind. Let's focus on Hamilton. Front of the race will struggle to widen the gap. So, 150 in front. His teammates have a handle on things for the overall standings. It will be difficult to increase the gap. descent so far. Started at 1.59.2 minutes and that's from a little breakaway as well. Just not confident in how good Hamilton is at climbing for this last climb. Oh, 
is getting on, getting his energy back. Not great. descending as well as we normally do but so far we've made 40 seconds up on this descent it looks like they're catching a bit nice so we're just going to make sure McNulty gets full energy back Breakaway increased its lead on the yellow jersey group. He's got his teammates riding because... Okay, let's focus on the lot and then... It's a danger to the overall standing. That's the end of most of our descent. We're going to keep a little bit of pace up to start with. There's the feed station. to this blue back. Too bad. Getting our blue back up to maximum again. Another push again. Some big names in that group. to go. We're going a little bit fast here.
climb is about 14-15k again so it's a long tough one I don't know if we've got enough left for it obviously as we start our ascent then the uh, the gap's going to be coming down quite sharp as soon as they hit it hopefully it can go straight back up again there we go so we may do a little attack at the start let's judge that one not quite there yet never mind gonna persist Final climb is on. An ascension of 14 kilometers at close to 150 on the main danger group. It's an irregular climb. Alternating between gentle slopes and steep ramps, it will force riders into frequent changes of tempo. good with Hamilton we may even launch an attack with McNulty but it's a little bit early just yet we'll save him to cover and finish in case Hamilton blows up So hopefully that's going to take a lot of their energy down. But they've dropped McNulty, which is bad. Oh, another 10 kilometers to retain the jersey. Yeah, some good climbs in there, Shackman. Yeah, really motoring, almost a minute now. Just cut it in half in about two kilometers. Surely they can't keep that pace up. Flatter section here, so we're going to have a little push the and then into the, the red section one well. away. The winner in Autocam will pocket 10 more points for the mountains classification. And he's off again after this little red section. Oh, blue energies are really suffering now. Watch out, there's an attack at the head of the peloton. Acceleration at the front of the peloton. No falling asleep. Still only a minute in front. Well. 
Okay, I'll consume a feed. Right, 30 seconds in front, mate. Still 7k to go. coming again. I don't know where he's getting all this energy from. Looks like Shackman's had it. So hopefully, at worst, we should be looking at second. It's just at this pace. We're going to use our red gel to try and replenish. Try and break him on this slightly steeper section. Deal to attack with most of them, but they've just fallen too far back. Okay, I'll consume a speed. Okay, all of our blues gone nice, so the red is start disappearing. So At less than three pace. kilometers from the finish, nothing is guaranteed for the man in front. He's still under threat of being caught by his pursuers. Should have stage win now. One minute turn. As soon as we do, I'm going to switch back to McNulty and see if we can just gain him a bit of time. The front man will soon be under the red pennant. He should manage a win. It is a red pennant. One more kilometer of effort.
let's go back to McNulty, try and get that down a little bit. Oh, we got 1.7, I think we can go most of the way. You seem to be running on empty. Lift your foot if you don't well. want to blow up. Started five minutes back to see where we can get in. Watch out! You'll soon have no more energy to attack. Almost finished, so we're going to look at camera. Let's go for this last kilometer. Break these guys get a little time gap on them. Try and get him over the line. One point nine left, so he's not in a great place. Try and break these guys, get him away on his own. Use our red jar to replenish any blue that we're going to use. Try and get on the back of this group. to get the back of that group. Managed to break those guys behind us. Still holding all the jerseys, even though they've changed in amongst the team. Huge congratulations for this win, guys. Our chances of victory were virtually nil. This is an outstanding performance. You beat all the favourites. We retain the yellow jersey. It's a perfect day. Okay, so that little burst of McNulty at the end got us a minute back. Big climbing points for Hamilton as well. That may be enough to win the polka dot jersey. Okay, so a minute and four. I think the main threats are probably Shackman and Bennu and Bennett as well. So two minutes adrift. Polkadot 
just Hamilton really. We have to attack with someone else on the mountains on the next two stages to try and get them out because he's yellow jersey, they're not going to let him go. Green jersey's already won. First and fourth, good shape for the young rider jersey. All in all, good stage, hold a minute lead on the tour, some good points as well, where are we up to, 18th overall. Confidence, big team, so if we can get above them, that'd be excellent. A nice little recovery bonus again, Camno away in the breakaway. All in all, good stage, and I'll see you on stage four. Thanks for watching, guys.